can't believe I found this item at the Goodwill bins. Uh, I, I just can't believe it. Am I a hoarder or a reseller? Maybe that'll be the title. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I think I am going to title this video Finding Bolos in My Hoard. This is my hoard. I'm going to share with you guys my mess. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. This is gonna be a little bit different style of a video. It's gonna be more of a vlog style. Um, I'm gonna show you my mess of a garage and what I'm currently trying to do, but I'm also gonna go into a category video where I'm gonna talk about some Bolo items and things to be on the lookout for. But first, I'm gonna show you my mess and you're gonna feel so good about yours. Um, Today, I am dropping a video at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, off schedule, but you are not going to want to miss it. I found a grail at the Goodwill bins. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, this is a scavenger hunt video that I did with Dumpster Diva. This is her channel. Go check her out if you are not subscribed to her. Oh my goodness, she is fantastic. Such a great personality, and you're just going to love her videos. So go sub her up, um, and let's get started. You want to see my mess? All right, let's talk about this garage. Um, we've got mystery box stuff in here. Uh, this pile was probably twice as big. I've been working on this for about two weeks. The problem that I am having is every time I get a tote and open it to take it to the basement, I end up um, wanting to list the items. So these bags right here, have all been gone through and I was out of totes. So these are ready to put on whatnot. They are bags full of vintage clothing. And you guys know I'm not big into measurements. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to bring those items over to whatnot. This is the current tote that I just opened up and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this stuff to the basement. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have got to list this stuff. Look at it. They're, um, Hallmark napkins. I, I don't know if that is the bonnet girl or Holly Hobby or I don't know. It's one of those. I got to look it up. But look at this. Is that Pete the Dragon? I have got to list this stuff. Look, matching plates. These are vintage new old stock items, you guys. They are incredible and they will sell. So um, I am going to get these listed today. Which brings me into what I want to talk about in this video. Oh my goodness, look at these also. This is something else that I recently got. There's just so much good stuff here. Um, I am going to li list this. This comps out at like 40, between 40 and 60. It's new old stock. Um, it's uh, Anne of Green Gables pop-up dollhouse. So I'm going to get that listed today. But I got to figure out this right here. I just adore these. I don't know what they are. They're some sort of display. I'm having a really hard time looking them up. They're blinkies, pin on and light up buttons. But see the little nose and the tree? They light up. But this is the display. But I got to figure out what I can plug this into to test it. For maximum sales, please place this display near cash register or checkout and plug into wall outlet. Well, I can't plug that into my wall outlet. How do I do that? But are these incredible or what? Even if I just sell it as a display. Oh my goodness. I'm just like, I, I don't even know what to say about this. Just incredible. And I got two of them. So it looks like they were selling them for maybe $4.25 each. Unfortunately, that has writing. But how cool are these? And it says, what does it say? 1985, the Electric Button Company. So again, I got to figure out, maybe my husband will know how to do that because I do feel like if I can show that it actually works, I want to see the back of the button. But again, these are just displays, so they probably don't even come off. This is more for probably nostalgia, somebody just looking that maybe had these as a kid. But um, so yeah, these are all vintage pantyhose that need listed. 
This is some stuff from a mystery box. Um, this is my collection of chairs. <laughs> Okay, Bolo Buddies, this video, we're just gonna take a brief intermission here. And I wanna tell you this was inspired by Rachel Strickland because she does vlog videos. But I am currently, I just stopped to do this, uh, watching her video. She stayed up for 24 hours straight and listed and she vlogged it. You gotta go check it out. The video is not 24 hours long. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you a short little clip right here, right now. I searched and I looked but they are the Presleys, and so I wonder if it's like a distant cousin or something. Oh my gosh, <laughs> last one. This is, oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time I find one at a sale, I buy it because my husband and I, this is like, we absolutely love these. And I'm like, we need more colors. So um, I just picked this one up for $5. If you don't know, these are a nice little bolo item, but I do not sell these. I keep them for myself. Um, and when we have company over, we can just, you know, sit outside or whatever. And them. they're just so easy. You just pop them open. So these are hats. Um, I've got some ephemera down there. Some of this stuff is going to whatnot. I'm just trying to organize it right now. But, oh, my goodness, you guys. These belts. Oh, they're incredible. I have got to decide if I am going to clean these up because see the green? I know I can... I'm, I shouldn't say no. I'm pretty sure that those are brass or bronze or something. And I think I can get that off, but I may just sell those as is and let somebody else deal with it. Um, this is a tote full of vintage hats. So again, I'm trying to get all of this stuff down to the basement. Um, and I'm just not, I'm not doing that great of a job. Or I could say I'm doing a great job because I'm getting more and more stuff listed because instead of taking it to the basement unlisted, I'm listing it. This right here is all stuff that needs listed as well. This has been sitting up here and I'm just not getting to it. So I think what I'm going to do is, again, take all of these items to the basement and then use this maybe for my whatnot so that I can just pull it and have it ready and do it kind of mystery box style. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I need this space. So I'm going to work on that. But I need this space so I can get my vehicle in the um, into the garage. Right here, this is all Goodwill bins. Um, this here, I think this tote is full of Goodwill bins. And I think I have another tote Currently trying to get all that stuff listed so I can get those videos out for you guys. If you have not checked out my Goodwill Bins videos, I keep them very educational, but I'm actually digging through the bins. And as I dig, you guys can um, actually see how I listed everything. So right now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this little video about these blinkies. I'm going to get these listed and I'm also going to list this. And then I'm also gonna talk to you guys about paper plates and napkins. Do they sell? Do they sell for big money? Should you be picking them up if you see them? So stay tuned for that. I got this in my ring light here. So I wanna show you guys a little more of a close up. This one is dated 1983. I am just not finding much. I'm gonna show you guys here what I found on eBay and what I found on WorthPoint. And I cannot find any store displays like this. This one's actually 1985. Again, when my husband uh, gets home, I'm gonna see if he can maybe find, I, I just don't even know. Do you plug something into that? Like how on earth he might know. So I would really like to test these and do a video showing how they work and that they do work because I think they've probably been altered for this display and they're not gonna function as a pin back like they're supposed to be. So this is more, again, nostalgia type item. All right, let's look at those, um, what I found, the comparables I found, not much. Worth points not even helping me out. I told you I was gonna be all over the place in this video. So just a little update. I just did the video right here on those jerseys and I was talking about, did I price them right or did I not? Well, the auctions ended and it's really, really weird. So one sold for my minimum bid, bam, $29.99. And the other one, oh my goodness, Bolo, sold for $154. So one got multiple bids, one did not. This is an example of maybe I should have started my auction at a higher price. 
on the one or maybe both of them. I could have messed up. I could have lost money on the one. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Who knows, maybe that number was special. I don't know if these were Denison or Ohio State. I talk about all of that in the other video. Go check out that video for more information on that. So I just wanted to give you guys an update if you did see that video. Um, all right, let's keep moving on in this video. If you like this type of video, this vlogish kind of <laughs> all over the place type of video, let me know in the comments. It's not something that, that I normally do, but I had a lot to share with you guys today. So check it out. Check it out. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at... not much info on these and I'm going to show you what I found and I'm going to try to get my husband to uh get these working for me but they are incredible incredible but I didn't find much um let me show you what I found there is one active listing on eBay it's right here it's this uh 1980s it's a blinkies this is the only one I can find that's active they have 1999 free shipping on it um I don't know why it's not selling. I think it's incredible, but uh, here it is a close up and it looks like if you look here, see how it's kind of pulled away. They are battery operated, but mine I believe have been altered, like I said, but there's the instructions. I went over to worth point and this is all I found. And you know, comps are not that great on these. I figured being that they're from the eighties, they're nostalgic. Maybe there just wasn't a whole lot. Maybe there, it just never really was trending. I don't know. Maybe people aren't looking for them, but look at this Halloween. It only went for $6 and 99 cents. I just don't understand. I have no clue, but anyway, the display is amazing. Um, I don't, let me uh, put in Blinky's light up display. I'm going to say there's probably not going to be any I, again. It's just so hard to search this. Um, pin back. Let's add pin back. If you guys don't have worth point. It is incredible. Normally you can find what you're looking for in this situation. I just think I have a really, really, really rare item. Okay, so let's talk about vintage paper. These are Hallmark. No, wait, these are Hallmark. These are um, Ambassador, I think it says. Pete the Dragon, right? Is this Holly Hobby or is this Bonnet Girl? I don't know, but um, I do have napkins that match. Um, I wish it told me on the back, but these are Hallmark as well. So I'm going to sell these as sets. Um, again, comps for these exact items. I'm not finding them, but let me show you something to be on the lookout for. All right. So I am under napkins, vintage napkins. And if you guys have not seen my Halloween videos, what to look for, Definitely check those out. But here are some napkins um, that went for $270.55. Look how incredible they are. They're super old. Very, very cool. If you ever, vintage Halloween is just a fantastic category. Uh, you definitely want to be on the lookout. Now look at this. This is just an assortment of vintage napkins, 282 of them. They put ephemera in the title for crafting. So that's a great idea. If you're ever in an estate sale and they just have a big box of napkins, you could do something like that. Those sold for 52. But look at this. Tissues, Kleenex, vintage Kleenex. This just happened to pop up. So I thought I would share it. Um, they did put movie prop in the title. But again, you're going to see here that the Halloween items are the ones that are definitely, definitely something to look for. These are cocktail napkins. Um, Kleenex. What is the deal with the Kleenex? Vintage 1980s Kleenex. Be on the lookout. I can't believe these didn't go for more. They're from the 1930s. One thing I recommend, if you're going to do an auction, start your auction high, especially on something as incredible as this. It, this only sold for $38.44. This is um, from the 30s, so that's really old. This is newer somebody stole that. I'm telling you, they're probably going to relist it. And, um, now 
and make more for it, way more. $34.99. So again, most of the things that I'm pulling up are um, Halloween, Christmas themed. But I do feel like what I have, the Pete the Dragon and the Holly Hobby or the Bonnet Girl, whatever she is, are going to do pretty well. I just got to figure out how to price them. And I'm probably not going to go into that in this video. Um, I am going to try to probably do an auction style on them and start the auction high. We've got um, uh, another thing to look for is tablecloths. Those can do well. Look how cute these are. I just, they're incredible. I can't believe they didn't go for more. So a lot of times they're going to be bread and butter, but some of them can be big money. So definitely be on the lookout and don't be afraid to price your item high and wait for that right buyer. Now I'm over here and those were napkins. These are plates, paper plates. Again, look at the Halloween 1930s, $410, $335. Just incredible. If you can find the Halloween, um, this is horoscope, astrology, the monsters. So Halloween again. Um, I think this is just one plate. And then we've got uh, Sailor Moon, which is collectible. We've got gem and the holograms, also very collectible. So if you can find um, these old birthday party sets of nostalgic uh, items for people who were into those things back in the past that had those at their birthday parties. Those things are probably going to sell for you. Um, again, another Sailor Moon, but these are definitely items to look for. Here's a Superman Hallmark, Mr. T. How funny is that? Um, I don't know what's so special about those reusable plastic plates, $45. Huh? That's interesting. Dinosaur Jurassic Park. The Bratz, this again went really low. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Tweenies, never heard of that, but it didn't go very high either. So yeah, new old stock items. Strawberry Shortcake, shout out Toy Attic. Um, she loves Strawberry Shortcake. She has an amazing channel. Go and sub her up. I will link her down below. Um, anytime I find Strawberry Shortcake, I message her. I'm like, is this good? Is this a good one? Should I buy this? We got Snoopy, also very collectible. All right, you guys, now we're going to go over here to Hallmark paper plates. Now, not specifically vintage, but just in general, like this is a Twilight Party bundle sold for $75. Again, I did not go in and check this. Usually I go in and I look for feedback and I do different things to make sure the item actually sold. Right now, I'm just being very generic about it just to give you guys an idea of some things to comp when you are outsourcing. Um, all I know my thrift store has an area that has this type of item sitting there and I usually pass it by. So probably need to look at it. Uh, party invitations also is another good one. Um, a lot of them are going to be bread and butter, but there's people out there looking for these items. So don't pass them by. If you can pick them up cheap, you can get them at garage sales, different places. So, um, that is going to conclude this video again today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to be releasing a Goodwill Bins video. It is a collab video with Dumpster Diva. She's incredible. If you've not checked her out, please go subscribe to her. She will be linked down below. Also, um, it was a scavenger hunt. I said, hey, do you want to do a collab? I'm going to give you 12 items. You need to go to the Goodwill Bins and you need to find those 12 items. I'm going to go to the Goodwill Bins and do the same thing. You guys, I found what I consider to be a grail. This is what um, my thumbnail looks like. And I'm going to link my video down below. Set your reminder right now. I'm going to do a premiere. So I'll be there hanging out with you guys. Super excited about this. I can't believe I found this item at the Goodwill Bins. Uh, I, I just can't believe it. Um, all right. So I think I've got some bolo items. Um, I'm going to price my Holly Hobby or whatever it is and Pete the Dragon. And I have another set that um, I already took to the basement that I listed yesterday. And these blinkies, I'm going to get my husband working on that. And if not, I'll just I'll just list them as untested if he can't figure it out. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, tell me how you found the channel. And please subscribe. Hit that like button. I just hit 23,000 subscribers. I, I just... I'm floored. I can't even believe it. I never expected that type of growth on this channel. Um, really just started it on a whim and I like to help people learn and it's kind of just blossomed into what it is. 
And I'm just super excited about it. So if you know somebody that would enjoy this content, that is a reseller that likes to learn, um, please share the channel. I would love that. Okay, I told you guys this video is gonna be all over the place. Let's go look at my money pile. I'll, I'll show. Sh I'll also show you my listed inventory. Okay, let's start with my recording studio. <laughs> These are the jeans and they're hanging here and I record right here. And these are all my hats that I rotate. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you guys are interested in these hats, I get them on eBay and they are pretty reasonable actually. They're super fun, but I do have a link in my link tree that's down below. All right, let's go look at that inventory. Okay, so this is the money pile that I showed you guys before and I have added to it um, these totes right here have come from the garage. This one is from the garage, but I will tell you, I am listing so much stuff that before it's even making it to the basement. So that is really good. Um, this is all cat's meow. I brought that from outside. Um, somebody, uh, the tea garden actually messaged me. She's like, you should totally do a video of what's inside each of your totes in the basement. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do that someday. Um, but right now I've got footage coming out my ears. Um, this one just came from the garage. These plates, some of these plates can do well, but I hate breakables. So they're just going to go in this tote for, um, I'll list this stuff someday. My money pile. We've got the jewelry back here. Oh, just so much stuff. Okay. So do you want to see my clothing that's not listed? Okay, we'll talk about that. Let's go over there. This is my whatnot pile. So if you don't know, I'm gonna sell on whatnot eventually. Well, it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. But um, yeah, these are my mannequins that I like to use from when I used to sell clothing. But this was listed and I sold out of these and same with this item. Things miraculously disappear from eBay. So I happened to see those. So I just threw them there for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but they aren't listed in eBay and they were hanging in my inventory. So if you have items that disappear, let me know in the comments. This is a huge walk-in closet and those back there are all button up men's shirts, new with tags that who knows when I'll get listed. There's a hole back there, but I think there's a tote down there. Um, what on earth is that? Oh, a backpack that I bought to list that I just threw in here. These totes are all full of brand new inventory. These are things that I've picked up at TJ Maxx and um, different places. And then you guys, I stopped selling clothing. These are all new with tags. Um, clothes, uh, a lot of it is express. This is just a dress with a $189 tag. Here's another dress with a $398 tag just sitting here. Needs to be listed. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring some of this to whatnot. I have not decided, but you guys, when I tell you that this walk-in closet is like, it's not a normal walk-in closet. It's huge. And those are totes just full of inventory. This is the stuff that I had hanging on clothing racks and I needed the space. So I just took them off the clothing racks and threw them in here. So it's kind of a hot mess and whatnot would be an ideal place for this stuff to go. But I just don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is my clothing money pile. And if you are new to my channel, I used to be a full-time clothing reseller and kind of switched to hard goods. And now this stuff's just hanging out. Okay, this is the tote room of all my inventory that is listed. These totes come from like thrift stores. Um, the one with the little cute face came out of a toy box, mystery box that I got at a thrift store. These are all labeled with letters. This is my letter room, unless it's clothing, like um, Lane Bryant skirts. Um, before I did uh, hard goods, I did clothes. So some of them are labeled a little differently. What I do is I put into the custom SKU this letter right here. So I know that when that item sells, I need to come to tote Q and pull that item. So all of these items are currently listed. So this room is a feel good room. It's done. And I just created a new craft tote and recently just listed all of these items in the past couple days. So feeling good about that. This was a return that I never put back in the return spot. So yeah, everything is just labeled 
and I'm gonna say there's thousands of items in these totes. So let's go to my other room, box pile, and then there's my paper and bubble wrap that people have given me. Um, but here is all of my big stuff. So when I have big stuff, I box it so that it's ready to go because I want to put those measurements and um, weights in so that I don't mess up my shipping. So most of these items are boxed and ready to go, already listed in my store. So when it's time to ship it, I don't have to worry about it. I just grab it and list or and ship it. Okay, all of these items, totes are full of stuff, stuff that is listed. This room, everything has a number. So this is my numbers room. <laughs> um, I can probably go three totes high as I continue to grow my business. These used to be clothing racks, all clothing racks. And if you go way back, I did a video a long time ago showing you guys, this is jewelry that I have listed. Uh, totes, totes, more totes. This is plush. Um, a lot of this over here is plush. I recently just got rid of two rows of clothing racks and pushed the clothes over. So what I'm doing is getting out of clothing and making room for more totes, hard goods, because that's what I want to do. This is my bubble wrap right here. Going to have to order more soon. And clothing. So again, uh, getting out of clothing, uh, shoes. I do have this nice little shoe rack. It's a little bit messy in here because I'm in the process of organizing this. Um, if you saw my other video, I showed you what it looked like before and it was a complete disaster. So uh, these are David's Bridal. Um, I went on a retail arbitrage David's Bridal. I bought a bunch of stuff to resell. It's gone okay, but you can see I still have stuff left. These are books and stuff that I have picked up. I will pick up book sets like this, and I do sell those. They do pretty good on Mercari, but I need to organize this. DVDs um, that I have picked up. <sighs> it's one of those things, if I get them really cheap, I pick them up, and I really have a hard time focusing on getting those listed. May do DVD lots on um, whatnot. I don't know. I heard they have media now. These amazing shelves, oh my goodness, um, they are fantastic for clothing and um, shoes and stuff like this, but since I'm kind of getting out of that, I may be getting rid of these industrial shelves that I picked up at a, what do you call it, a store going out of business. I think it was like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or something like that. These David's Bridles, or no, I'm sorry, not David's Bridles, I saw that. These are wedding gowns. Somebody messaged me on Facebook and said, do you want them? And I was like so excited because this was back when I sold clothing and I was like, free? Yes, I'll take them. My husband went and picked them up. They were a nightmare to actually um, put on the mannequin. I had to disclose any defects. Oh, this is what I have left, these right here. I cannot wait for them to be gone. Um, this down here in the sleeves or the plastic is um, David's Bridal. That was the retail arbitrage. I've done well with it, but would I do it again? Absolutely not. Wedding veils on the end also came from David's Bridal. I think I have two or three of those left. I probably sold about 20 of those. Did okay. Got some shipping supplies over there. And then if you go back here, this is clothing also. And then you've got pool noodles. If you don't know, pool noodles are fantastic for picture frames and packaging, things like that. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, this clothing rack will be the next to go. So I'm just trying to get rid of all this stuff, but I do have all those clothes I need to list. So got some packaging supplies back there. But again, this is what I am currently, uh, currently organizing. And I'm not going to show you the other part. I, well, I might be able to show you some of it. Hang tight. Okay, you guys, I'm still in the process of um, organizing and redesigning my workspace. So I did recently just put some of my little collage of reseller stickers that I have. I've got Chosen Goods Reseller, uh, Zombie Bargain Hunter, Cha-Ching King, Midwest Picker, Nikki Love Snacks. So go check out those channels. And I'm going to keep adding to this as I get stickers. 
And if you guys have been here for a while, you remember I used to record on my couch and this was my awesome, amazing sign. This is Olo the Owl. This is a little Bolo Buddy shirt that I bought for him. I do have merch. It's linked down below. And they do have kid sizes. This is my Folk Monist puppet that um, Yard Sales and Dreams sent me. And this one is from my husband. He got this for me at um, a flea market. And I just adore all of them. They're my little buddies. And um, let's see what else I can show you. All right, so these totes are all craft supplies um, that I got from that estate that are going to be going to Whatnot. Uh, Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. There's a link down below. If you guys are not following me, you can get a $10 credit if you use my referral link. I don't think I already said that. Just ordered shipping supplies. You can get all of this free on USPS.com. So if you're not utilizing that, you should definitely be utilizing those free shipping supplies. Uh, just go to USPS.com and get the boxes you need. Okay, so this is my light box, my basement one, and these are things that I have pulled to list or things that I just need to donate or, you know, like, I don't know what this is. This was just in with something else and I probably just need to throw it away or donate it, but they're just little fun things. I may, um, these are like light bulbs, they're vintage and these are just fun. I can maybe be able to just do some crafty thing with them. Um, book sets, again, if I can find sets. Um, these right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I was thinking about bringing them to whatnot. Um, oh, what are they? I, I don't know. They're incredible. I should be listing them right now because now is the time. Uh, they're dream sickles, but they're like vintage dream sickles and they're Halloween themed. I may put those on eBay. I don't know, but I also have Easter ones down there. They're incredible. Um, I just threw them in this box. I found these when I was going through that uh, money pile and reorganizing it. Okay, I did recently, whoa, install these um, industrial shelves. My husband helped me with that. They are high dollar nice ones because I wanted them to be able to hold the weight. These are all of my uh, boxes. So everything is just organized for me to pull and ship. All right, here's a little tip. Boxes, cut your boxes up. And then like if you have stickers or things like that, you can cut these and sandwich them between. You can also make boxes out of boxes. These need to go into this bucket. These are things that I get out of mystery boxes um, that I use to ship. I get them out of my mystery Christmas boxes. If you're not subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, go over there and you can check out those unboxings. Here's more shipping supplies. This is usually full of air bubbles. Just things that I need to grab quick that are all right here. Still in the process of figuring out how to organize this. And... Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Oh, set that reminder. It's down there. See you at four o'clock, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.